Hello. And welcome. Possessing players with speed can be decisive at both ends of the pitch, whether it's a burst of pace to get away from defenses, or a covering run from defenders tracking back. We've decided to look at the fastest players in the Premier League this season, we will reveal to the six stars, with the highest recorded top speed, in 2021-22 so far. Number 6. Ollie Watkins, 22.43 miles per hour. Ollie Watkins ranks sixth for fastest top speed in the Premier League this season, with the Aston Villa forward having been clocked at 22.43 miles per hour. Watkins has endured an inconsistent campaign after an impressive first season in the top division last term, but remains a key part of Steven Gerrard's plans. With his pace and power leading the line at Villa Park, the 26 years old is the club's leading scorer this season, and has scored seven league goals for the campaign, earning an inclusion in the England squad for March's international break. Watkins will hope to take his chance, and establish himself as the three Lions' first choice alternative to Harry Kane, earning a call-up after Tammy Abraham withdrew from the squad. Number 5. Pats and Dhaka, 22.43 miles per hour. Pats and Dhaka arrived into the Premier League last summer, and has been recorded as one of the division's fastest players in 2021-22, matching Watkins' 22.43 miles per hour top speed. Dhaka signed for Leicester from Red Bull Salzburg with a flourishing reputation, having scored 34 goals across all competitions for the Austrian champions last season. The 23 years old has shown flashes of his potential during his debut season with the Foxes, scoring 10 goals in all competitions including a four-goal haul against Spartak Moscow in the Europa League. Number 4. Ibrahima Khanate, 22.49 miles per hour. Another new addition to the Premier League this season, Liverpool boosted their defensive stocks with the signing of Ibrahima Khanate from RB Leipzig. Conate has had an encouraging first season at Liverpool, and has made 19 appearances in all competitions, with his athleticism and passing from the backline having impressed. Conate's speed allows him to thrive in the Reds' high defensive line, and Jurgen Klopp will hope the 23 years old can continue his development, and become a long-term fixture at Anfield. Number 3. Adama Traore 22.74 miles per hour. Few sights strike fear into fullbacks more than Adama Traore running, with the ball at full flight, the winger a formidable mix of sheer speed and strength. Traore's 22.74 miles per hour top speed in the third fastest recorded in the Premier League this season, though the 26 years old will not have a chance to improve. That mark after joining Barcelona on loan in January. The Spain international has provided four assists in seven starts for the Catalans, who have the option to make the agreement permanent for a fee of 30 million euros. Number 2. Mohamed Salah, 22.74 miles per hour. Mohamed Salah ranks alongside Traore, in second having recorded a top speed of 22.74 miles per hour this season, with the Egyptian international having been difficult to stop for Premier League defenses. In 2021-22, Sulla is the division's leading scorer, with 23 goals for the campaign so far, whilst he ranks second for assists, after laying on 10 goals for his Liverpool teammates. The 29 years old's combination of speed, strength and clinical finishing have made him one of the world's finest footballers right now, with Sulla the odds on favourite to be crowned as the PFA Player of the Year this season. Number 1. Antonio Rudiger, 22.80 miles per hour. Antonio Rudiger has ranked as the fastest footballer in the Premier League so far this season, recording a highest speed of 22.80 miles per hour for Chelsea. The defender has been a central figure in Chelsea's success under Thomas Tuchel, impressing with his aggressive manner of defending and marauding runs forward. 
Rudiger has excelled as part of a back three, and his recovery pace has been essential to the system, Tuchel has implemented at Stamford Bridge. Out of contract at the end of the season, his increasingly likely exit will be a major blow to the West Londoners.